Hi, and welcome to this lesson on exploring the rate constant in more detail, K. So in the previous lesson, we looked at orders of reaction and how to work them out. And we learned that the order can only be determined experimentally. The rate constant, K, it's a number that connects the concentration of reactants to the rate of reaction. And we can calculate a value for it and units as well. And that's what we're gonna look at in this lesson. It's different for every single reaction and it increases with temperature. The larger the value of K, the faster the reaction. And here's where we find it in our rate equation. So rate is going to be equal to K, our rate constant. And for example, times the concentration of a reactant A to the power of, let's say, nothing in this particular case, and then B, which is a second order. So overall, the order is three. And there is the value that we're interested in at the moment, K. We can work out K. So there's my example for a particular reaction. Remember, it's different for all of them. And we can rearrange this to make K our subject. So we can say that K is equal to the rate over the concentration of A times the concentration of B raised to the power of 2. We can also calculate the units for K. So the units for rate we know are going to be moles per decimeter cubed per time unit. So seconds, for example. We also know that the concentration in general, so concentration of A or B with those square brackets, is going to be moles per decimeter cubed. So we can plug those values in, cancel them out, and work out our units for K. Here's an example. So again, for my reaction, rate is equal to K, our constant, A, B to the power of 2. Let's use that one again. So we said that K is equal to rate over the concentration of A, times the concentration of B raised to the power of 2. Let's work out our units. So K is going to equal our units of rate, which is moles per decimeter cubed per second over moles per decimeter cubed. That comes from A times moles per decimeter cubed squared. So I'm just going to write it twice because it's the same thing. I can cancel out two of my moles per decimeter cubed, or one on the top and one on the bottom. And what that's going to leave me with is K being equal to moles to the minus two, because they are on, they are underneath, the two that are left are underneath, they are the denominator of my fractions, so they're to the minus two decimeters to the six, because again, they are the denominator, so I'm gonna flip that sign to positive to bring them up to the numerator, and then s to the minus one. There's my s to the minus one left over, don't forget it. So those are my units for this particular equation. Remember, one over a is the same as a to the minus one. And I was using that skill in the previous question to work out the units. It's how we can bring values on a denominator or a fraction up to the top. Here's a question, so pause the video and give it a go. First thing we need to do is to rearrange our equation to make k the subject. So K is going to be equal to rate divided by my concentration of my reactant to the power of 2. Then I can plug my values in. So K is equal to rate, as I just said. So 2.90 times 10 to the minus 6. That number divided by my concentration of my products. That's 0 0.25 squared. So I'm going to put that into my calculator and I am going to calculate the value of K to be 4.64 times 10 to the minus 5. Next, we need to work out the units of K. So K is going to be equal to rate of which my units are moles per decimeter cubed per second divided by my concentration, which is going to be moles per decimeter cubed squared. So I can get rid of one of my moles per decimeter cubed. So I'm going to get rid of one of them, so effectively the square value, and I'm going to get rid of this one because they cancel out. So what's that? what that's leaving me with is moles to the minus one because it's currently a denominator. I need to bring it up to the top, so I'm going to reverse that sign. And to decimeter to the three, because again, it's a denominator and I want to bring it up, so I'm going to reverse the sign, but s to the minus one is already a numerator, so I'm going to keep it as s to the minus one. So those are my units. So I've calculated my value and my units. 
Let's eventually just write that overall. So put it all together. Don't forget to do that. 4.64 times 10 to the minus 5 moles to the minus 1 decimeter cubed per second.